Uh, thanks a lot. I, I think my question is more, probably more specifically for Brian, but I'd love your thoughts as well, Congressman Franco Ordonez with NPR. Uh, Brian, can you talk a little bit uh, about the Obama's uh, speeches last night? Uh, they went after uh, President Trump quite a bit. Michelle, black jobs, uh, former President Obama, second sequel is not as good. Can you just respond to, to those speeches a little bit specifically? I mean, the Obamas did exactly what they were plugged in and advertised to do. Um, they put Joe in night one. They either purposefully or somehow logistically put him well after prime time. So they set old Joe out to pasture. They put a, a day of uh, all, all different and uh, dynamic speakers in between their candidates in the Obamas, and they had, and they had those those speakers do what they're going to do the rest of the week, which is A, make the appearance of distance and non-incumbency for Harris. They're talking about, oh, these last few years, she's been in the White House for almost four years. She hasn't been an outside observer in her community doing social work. She's been in the meetings in the White House side by side with Joe Biden, but they are trying to make it appear as if she has it. They are trying to put the distance between her and uh, her Paris and Biden. Uh, they're also obviously increasing um, the negative tone against President Trump. Uh, and the, the Obamas were simply continuing what we've seen uh, since yesterday, which is, and I'm sure we will see tonight and tomorrow night, which is they are not running for something, they are running against Trump. And for a party and for a campaign that make uh, the future of such, a, of such a key component of their advertising and of how they're packaging what these events are about, to say this is about the future and then spend each night with each primetime speaker uh, going viciously after President Trump rather than explaining what Kamala Harris's reasoning is for the things she was a part of in the White House. Um, that's their goal. So um, the, the most important thing, you've heard us say it in the first two days and again today, the most important thing we ask of you is to keep the pressure on. Like, don't, you are what stands between them and that strategy. The idea that she is running not as an incumbent is obvious on its face to be wrong. But why is it being allowed to be cast that way? The idea that she is somehow detached from all of these, these uh, Paris Biden decisions that have led to things like national security failures, uh, economic uh, uh, inflation through the roof, uh, all the different things that are happening that the American people care about, the chaos at the southern border. Um, they're talking more about Donald Trump than any of those issues, and we're rolling into the third day of a four-day program. So um, I think the Obamas did exactly what they were advertised to do, build a fence between Biden and Harris, and uh, continue to gaslight America about the notion that Harris has nothing to do with it.